We'd like to thank you for continuing to, uh, to join us here on this fantastic journey we are experiencing here with the very talented uh, Miss Cecilia C.C. Coleman. And she's brought a special guest for her with us today, and uh, we're going to allow her to introduce her to you. Like I mentioned, I'm having a Whitney Houston Experience event April 13th. And my songstress is the lovely Tanisha Thomas. She will be singing some Whitney Houston songs. She also models, but this is Tanisha Thomas. Hello. Hi. Tanisha Thomas, yes. thank you for coming on. Uh, thanks for mm -hmm. having me. Now, Tanisha, can I ask you, where were yes. you born? I was born here, born and raised here in the city of Pittsburgh okay. in Homewood. Pittsburgh. Huh? Yes. Well, what was that experience like for you as a little girl growing up here? Um, as a young child, I just remember going to Baxter Park, going to the park and playing. Um, what else? I remember going to Belmar Elementary School and, <laughs> you know, just playing in the neighborhood and everything as a little child. We used to, um, like, um, riding our bikes down the hill because I lived on Ray, grew up on Ray Street and it was a steep hill and we used to ride our bikes down the hill. We used to get in trouble for it, but <laughs> <laughs> we would ride our bikes down the hill. I remember doing that and just playing with the kids in the neighborhood, yeah. just having fun. So yeah. when did um, singing come into your life? Singing came into my life, I remember when I was a young girl, I can't remember exactly what age I was. It was 1987, I remember I was listening to Whammo. And I remember every time Wilma, they had a concert, they would play whatever artist that whole day, mm -hmm. their songs. And I remember Whitney Houston came. And I turned on the radio and I remember I heard for the first time, You Give Good Love. And oh my goodness. <laughs> when I heard that song and the way that she sang it, I said, you know what, that's what I want to do. That's when I knew that's what I want to do. And I just started listening to her songs started singing in the mirror, you know, with the um, brush, the hairbrush. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> singing in the mirror with the hairbrush and just listening to her voice and her techniques and just started singing from there. And then when I was, um, went to Rajasthan Middle School, that's when I decided to join the choir okay. there. And yeah. I started singing there. And then when I got in high school, I tried out for the concert choir. Mm -hmm and started singing and that's when I really started getting voice development and mm -hmm. learning techniques and things. I worked hard with my voice, like towards, you know, my voice, the growth and everything. Even yeah. going on Saturdays, I remember Saturday mornings, every Saturday, going to voice lessons, uh -huh. voice classes and going to concerts and seeing um, universities, going to universities, watching their um, concert choirs singing. I was just like, just wanted to be around music. You know, yes. you, it sounds like you're like me. Some people go to the concerts to enjoy the music. I went to concerts, I was in class. Yes, <laughs> exactly. I went to learn, to learn, you know what I mean? Yes. Okay. How this all works. And that sounds like that that's what you went for. Exactly. You was there to, 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 to grab a little bit of this and, yes. and, 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 and uh, recognize this technique and that technique. Yes, is that, exactly. Is that true about you? That is very true. Yeah. I still do it to this you still day. Do it today. Actually, I'm learning. going, like, mm -hmm. taking classes at AAMI because mm -hmm. you never arrive. You're always ever learning. Mm -hmm. right. You're, it's an ever learning thing. And I'm learning from Dr. J, mm -hmm. different techniques, and I'm still going to this day. So, <laughs> I, because I want to learn. I just always want to learn more and more and more about voice mm -hmm. techniques and different things to do with my voice. And mm -hmm. so I enjoy it, every yeah. bit of it. Yeah, so it was Whitney Houston that kicked, that they yes. kicked that all <laughs> out. Definitely, there, yes, definitely, yes. Whitney? Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. No, as, as, as far as the, 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 the production show that you're, you're, you're going to be doing in April, correct? April 13th. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, on, in April. Do um, you have any desire to, to take that on the road, to expand it outside of Pittsburgh? Or? There was, we were talking about it. We mentioned it. Mm -hmm. um, because here's why I ask. Yes. Tribute bands has been very popular these last few years. Yes, yes I you know. That. For example, I have a buddy of mine. There was a group called Heat Wave, and one of their big hits was Always and Forever. Oh, I remember. Well, I used when, to listen to that. When their original <laughs> drummer left, yes. well, he took his place. He lives up in Baltimore. Okay. Um, but make, what I'm trying to say is he put together a tribute to Frankie Beverly and Mays. It's called We Are One. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and okay. they did a, uh, and, and they're working pretty good. As a matter of fact, he sent me one of their performances that they did up in D.C. And I aired it on this station. You know what I mean? So oh, tribute bands nice. are, are pretty good. You got the Whitney Houston thing going. I don't remember hearing anybody else doing that. Me neither. No. So no, you might neither. got a niche there. Yes. That's yes. what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> yes. I mean, you tighten it up here in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. But as you're doing that, think about maybe taking it taking it out, man. Exactly. You might want to jump mm -hmm. in the car and go down to Wheeling, you know, <laughs> yes. go down to Youngstown, Ohio. I got some connections down there. Okay. I can turn you yeah. Into. Okay. Yeah. You can definitely do that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yes. Yeah. But other than this um, April 13th performance, do you have any other performances scheduled or, or are you just taking it? At this it? time, no, we're just taking it, just taking it at a time, you know, and we're just going to do this one and just see where it goes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just plan for the future. So, yeah, yes. Yeah. Now, did you sing any local bands? Um, yes. I sang with um, the band Diversity. I don't know if you... Okay. Yeah. I heard of the owner is Brian Clark. Yeah. Yes. I sang with them. Brian yes. Clark, keyboard player. Yes. He's a monster. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. Dance, he can just man. listen to a song. Ooh, he can Clark. listen to a song he never heard before. Yeah. At rehearsal, he would listen to something, and then he would just turn it off and just start playing it. Yeah. Now, here's yes. a question. When you're out there and you're singing and, and, and everybody on stage is on point, the music is getting, <laughs> yes. and, the, and the crowd is really into how does that make you feel? Actually, when, when, I, when I sing, I sing from my heart. When I'm singing, whatever song I'm singing, I feel the lyrics to the song. I'm not just singing to sing. I actually feel whatever the song is. Like if it's, if it's a love song, I'm feeling the words mm -hmm. and thinking about love. If I'm singing a song where we all know this, where we got our heart broken, <laughs> and I think about when I got my heart broken, mm -hmm. and that causes me to get more into, you know, the lyrics and more into the music, especially when the band's playing. Mm -hmm. And you hear them playing the music, and you hear the, you know, the background vocals, and they're singing, and everybody's into it. That's what gets me more excited even than the crowd. Is that right? Actually, okay. yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that sounds good. Well, I yes. tell you what, I thank you so much for coming on, and we can't wait yes. to yes. hear your yes. Whitney Houston yes. performance. Yes. Thank you for having me, and oh, happy anniversary, 12th anniversary. Well, thank yes. You so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you dare touch that <laughs> down. We'll be right back. Take a slug from a jug, and we'll be right back.
room for rehearsal, what I do is I imagine myself already on stage with the lights on and the audience in front of me. That's how I prepare for rehearsal. And I pray for myself before rehearsal too. And, and at rehearsal, what I actually do is I just allow, you know, myself to enjoy myself and enjoy the band and just have fun. And sometimes we joke around a little bit just to loosen up so everybody can be comfortable. So um, today's rehearsal, you know, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the band. I enjoyed um, the background vocals. Um, we, we just enjoy ourselves. That's the main thing. Enjoy what you're doing. Um, you make mistakes, it's okay. You just correct the mistakes and you just keep moving because we're not perfect. So, and that's how we prepare for it. And we just, and when I go home, I'm like, you know, I'm critique myself and go over in my mind what I did wrong and just correct it. So when we come here on Saturday to do the real thing, we'll be ready and I'll be ready to go.
Yeah. 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 Go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, and get ready for another second half of the show. Oh. All right?
wouldn't do Whitney or Houston any justice if I didn't go back to where it all began for her and the gospel. Amen. 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 That's where it all started for her. So I had to throw that gospel song.
Thank <laughs> you. 